Hello and welcome friends, Frenzy here bringing you more Kerbal Space Program Mod Overview and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at procedural wings. So we've looked at procedural parts, procedural fairings, and now we're going to take a look at procedural wings, long promised, long uh, kind of in the future here. <laughs> but procedural wings, pretty amazing. Uh, I should tell you first and foremost, I am pretty terrible with planes, space planes. Um, I just have a struggle getting them to be built. Rockets I can do well, planes not so much. So procedural wings for me makes things a lot easier. Uh, you do not have to deal with you know connecting multiple plane parts, making sure it's stable, making sure your center of lift is good. That can be a struggle a lot of times. You know if you mess up, if you have to redesign your plane, oftentimes that means you know having to take parts out, completely redo your wings. So procedural wings is fantastic. Uh, and we're going to be getting some new wing parts with 1.0, I believe, but uh, I think this is just a great mod to have, particularly if you're a big space plane fan or you just kind of like flying planes around. If you want to get a certain look or design, uh, and basically how this works is using the B, G, and T key on these procedural parts, you can kind of maneuver them around, stretch them out, change their width, things like that. So it's pretty awesome, uh, to be honest. It's just really cool way to really get the wings to look the way you want you know get them kind of in the way you want them to be uh, which for me you know being terrible at planes you know this is a big help for me uh, so you kind of see I have a swept wing design which is quite uh very 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 good for speed uh, making sure we have a lot of speed and you can also see i'm now attaching procedural control surfaces as well so not only do they have the procedural wings but they have the pr procedural control surfaces as you might imagine, this comes in quite handy when you have procedural wings, so you're not having to attach, you know, multiple parts, you know, on the back of the wings, which can be quite tedious as well as sometimes can cause issues with stability as well. Uh, I am using Ferrum Aerospace, so just a heads up on that. So this can kind of lead to a little bit different design if you're using stock too. But for the most part, pretty straightforward. Um, I, I want some big wings with some center lifts, some nice control surfaces. Uh, you see me fooling around here, and I had a lot of trouble getting these to look uh, not only aesthetically pleasing, but to be functional, particularly with the control surfaces on the back here. Um, I believe in the end, I just ended up, you know, kind of saying forget about it and using just kind of a standard um, tail rotor or uh, wing there on the, on the aft side or the back side. Uh, so just a heads up, as you'll you'll see going forward. Uh, just trying to get these right. You're probably better at this than I am. Again, not very good with space planes, but procedural wings makes it much, much, much easier if you're a person like me who's terrible at it. Uh, just a heads up to, we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to kind of run through and show you kind of a takeoff landing, which I think will be kind of a fun thing to do with these procedural wings. So yeah, they, they hold up. Um, but I did change the design of the plane, uh, as you'll be able to see in the launch here. <laughs> it, it turned out to be very different. Uh, I could not get this thing to fly very well. Not enough, as you can see, thrust to weight ratio at all. And just kind of for fun, I managed to get this thing to take off just fine without the SRB strapped at the top. But where's the fun in that, right? Gotta have that. Gotta have that up there. Uh, so it was just kind of fun to add on there. Strap on there. <laughs> Little rocket assisted takeoff. Uh, so that's always fun, right? A uh, lot of rapier engines to get this thing off the ground. It was pretty weighty. It's all fuel. I didn't have any cargo bays. I probably could. Um, the first time I tested it, I probably could do it without, you know, with one less fuel tank, maybe put in a cargo bay. But why not just have a little bit of fun there? As you see the rocket flying off the back there. And that was pretty cool. Or at least I thought that was pretty cool looking. Uh, so just kind of going through the stages here. These wings hold up well. I'm using Ferrum Aerospace uh, Aerovis, so you can kind of see where the stress is being placed on. And as it was, mostly in the control surfaces, not surprising there. Now, this thing flies really well, I have to say. Uh, a little bit jiggly, a little bit wobbly too, but I did use NESAS really, which can kind of help with that too sometimes. So for the most part, just kind of flying along. Uh, we're burning for orbit here. And we hit orbit pretty easily with some fuel to spare too. So this might be a good point to, you know, good to use for the future. I'm gonna have to do another video with using this, which is pretty fun. And we're gonna hit orbit here very easily. So we'll just kind of go ahead here and come back in through the atmosphere, see how this thing holds up, how these procedural wings hold up under, uh, you know, re-entry as well as landing. Uh, <laughs> full disclosure, it took me quite a few times to actually get this landing correctly. Uh, in the end, it. it turned out pretty well. It turned out to land pretty easily. Um, 
I had to adjust where the fuel was, uh, kind of to adjust the center of mass a bit to push the fuel up front, which helped quite a bit. Um, but you'll see him, me here just landing this bad boy up. And just as we have a little bit of time, as I'm just kind of finishing up here, I will be starting a new series if you're interested. Um, I've been thinking about it for quite a while. I've started series in the past, but haven't really followed through on them, uh, usually because I start them at terrible times. Sometimes they tend to be pretty late. Uh, in terms of like a new development or a new build coming out and I had a feeling 1.0 was on the horizon and it is it's an experimental so that's exciting so once 1.0 comes out once mods are updated uh, I will be starting a new series I'm going to be calling it span the universe and we'll talk about a little bit more maybe if we have some time later of what that might look at but for now these procedural wings they held up beautifully as we're slowing ourselves down with some rockets so hopefully you enjoyed please feel free to subscribe drop a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.